so let's take a look at exercise um, 2.1. Well, this is in black. I guess I usually do it in blue, but hey, we can do it in black for this one. Um, let's see. So there, we're just supposed to determine uh, whether certain uh, relations are correct or incorrect. And in and, and A, uh, it has the intersection of A, B, and C with uh, A, B, and then C union B. Well, what I would do is just kind of use a Venn diagram to kind of help me out here. Uh, a couple Venn diagrams, actually. So there's A, B, and C. And if I want the intersection of A, B, and C, I'm talking about that thing right in there. Now, what happens over here? Well, I've still got the intersection of A, B. And so I, I really have to think about uh, C union B. And so I come over here and, you know, there's my A, B, and C. Now, so C union B is, you know, all this stuff. Well, um, when I take that intersection with A and B, um, it appears, right? So I've got C union B. When I take the intersection with A and B, uh, so A and B, I'm only in that little football shape in there. And then I need the intersection of that with this C union B. Well, it looks to me the difference is over here, I got the little wedge. But over here, I got that whole football shape with there's the little wedge at the bottom. So see, I don't think it's the same. Now, so what I can do there is find a counterexample. Okay, so I don't think it's the same, so I should be able to just create sets A, B, and C uh, for which I can show um, that those two things are not the same. And if I'm going to do a counterexample, I probably want to uh, do something as simple as possible. And, and so, um, you know, maybe I do something where... Uh, I let A be the set 1, 2, 3, um, and uh, what I'm going to try to do here is, is make uh, 1 be in just A, B, or sorry, in just A, 2 be in A, B. Yeah, so maybe as I'm thinking about it here, I need four elements to help me out. Whoops. Okay. So I'm going to shoot for A, uh, on, uh, that A is the only thing that contains 1, and maybe, um, so let's let B be a 2, a 3, and um, I can maybe now, you know, this is where when you're doing stuff, it may not be pretty. Uh, I'm going to go with 2, 3, and 4. 5. So 5 is only in B, but both 2 and 3 are in A and B. And um, yeah, so you see, I'm going to get rid of that 4, make that a 4, just to make my life easier here. And um, C could be 3 and uh, five. How about that? Okay, so I'm just trying to use as few elements as possible, uh, just not to cloud things up. Now, so if I want A, B, C, what's in all three of these? Um, that is just the set three. 
Now, if I want A, B, and then C union B, well, C union B is the set um, 2, 3, uh, 4, and 5. And now, when I intersect that with, you know, A and B, now the B part doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm really just intersecting it with A uh, because I, because um, I'll get B from the union with B there anyway. But now when I intersect it with A union B, or A intersect B, um, A intersect B, well, I should probably write that somewhere. So my A intersect B is equal to the set 2, 3. And so A intersect B with this thing, I get 2, 3. Different answers. That and that, they're not equal. So I've given a counterexample. Okay, uh, so that was A. Now, I'll leave uh, B through F to you, but, um, you know, let's, if I have something that is true, uh, let's see, what's something I could do that uh, is true? Um, uh, let's see, if I took um, maybe uh, generally speaking, uh, yeah, I'm trying not to not use anything you have. Um, well, let's see, how about A intersect A union B? Okay, if I take that, um, I think I should uh, just get A back, I think. I think that's true. Okay, so, um, you know, so now w what if it's true? Well, let's check it. Okay, so I have A and B. And it looks like if I take A union B, so all of this thing, and then I intersect it with A, right, I should just get um, A back. Okay, so yeah, it looks like it's true. So, um, what I need to do is, is show that these two sets are equal. Well, so I would say A intersect anything, doesn't matter what it is, is obviously a subset of A. I'm going to go with that. Okay, now you can you could be um, more uh, thorough, I guess, by, you know, looking at A intersected with any, you know, you could prove this theorem that A uh, intersect B is a subset of A um, simply by saying, well, if, uh, if uh, X is an element of AB, well, that implies X is an element of A and X is an element of B, which implies X is an element of A. So there I've got my proof of that. Uh, but I'll go with, you know, that's pretty obvious that A intersect anything is a subset of A. Well, that's pretty obvious, but, you know, there's my proof. So now it needs to go the other way. And, and so if we let X be an element of A, okay, 
Um, well then, um, and now it's a matter of words because, wow, that just, uh, you know, again, that sort of seems a bit obvious, but, um, uh, well, actually, now that I think about it, um, no, no, okay. Uh, we'd have to use some other laws here. So, um, you know, I'm making this up on the fly. So you see, I can't just run right through everything. Well, that's okay. I mean, that's that's part of math is is that you do have to think about it. If just because something doesn't flow doesn't mean you can't do it, right? Now, because what I'm looking at here is I. I kind of feel like um, uh, I need to use the distributive property. And so, um, uh, I need to look back. I think we did that, though. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so we have um, a distributive property back here somewhere. Just trying to find it. There it is in 2.8. So I was looking at the text. Okay, so probably, um, uh, now that I think about it, um, for, for this idea here, um, I don't really think I quite need to go on the, the subset level. So see, eh, strike that, uh, you know, going that direction. I wasn't wrong. Okay, so, so again, here's something about math. I'm not wrong. It just wasn't the most efficient way to go. There's a better way to go is I can use my property that um, A intersect A union B uh, from uh, equations in 2.8, uh, I can say that that's A intersect, oops, intersect, try that again, A intersect A union A intersect B. Okay, and this is from 2.8. And uh, so now, um, A intersect A, we'll say that, yes, that's obviously that. And then A intersect B, um, hmm. here I'm going to say, sure, that um, this is just A. Well, yeah, do I need to say more about that? Right, because I know that's a, a subset of A, right? That, you know, so do I need to say more? Maybe, um, you know, you, you don't want to be too flagrant about saying, well, you know, things are just obvious. Um, yeah, so, you know, the, the the question is, you know, do I get all of A back here um, from from this thing? And like I say, you know, I think it's kind of obvious I do. Um, you know, do we need to go into a whole subset of each type, you know, showing the L one's a subset of the other and so forth? Uh, I don't think so here. Um, I think a Venn diagram is, is okay here. Uh, you know, if you need to add a little more illustration, you know, here's A, here's B, here's AB, and then A union AB is obviously A. Um, so I think, I think that's good, okay? But what I'm getting at is if something is true, okay, so this is true, um, you probably should uh, try to show it's true as opposed to just saying yes. 
it's true. Okay, because yeah, I can always say, oh, sure, that's true. Well, how do you know? I mean, you know, show it, prove it to yourself that it's true. And, you know, here I, I used uh, 2.8 in the distributive property. And, um, and then uh, he, to get from, from, you know, then the rest of this, I think, is, is reasonably obvious. But if, you know, if you need to convince yourself of that, yeah, probably we could go with a Venn diagram for that one. Okay, so there's the idea with 2.1.